conference and uh, the game between Viktorich Milita and Juven Jun just finished in a draw and it was a long game and big fight and uh, maybe you can give us some comments what was happening. Victoria, maybe you'll start because you were playing with White. I mean, this D6 somehow surprised you today or? Well, to some extent, no, I thought I had this idea that this could happen, but I didn't prepare so much against it. So, I mean, the, the opening, well, it's not, it's not very theor theoretical, but let's say, um, well, Slidor. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's uh, well, I thought I should be a little bit, uh, my position should be more pleasant, but in reality, well, I think basically uh, black is more um, flexible somehow because black has ideas of playing b5, of playing bishop f8 and against e4 pawn. And to be honest, I didn't, I didn't uh, see how to, well, it's, it's clear from my play that I didn't uh, really see a good plan here. Also Maybe spending mo a lot of time, I think, yeah, yes. Yeah, it was, no, it was not very easy to play, this yeah. is clear. And, um, well, I thought c3 rook e8, well, here I think it should be around equal all mm -hmm. the time, but then I started blundering, I think. Well, it's clear that knight b1 was, was not a good move, and f5 I blundered. I was thinking a little bit about, well, actually I was thinking quite a lot about bishop g7, Oh, but I think, well, bishop e4, right? Rook e4, it takes, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. unfortunately, <laughs> after, so after knight d2, knight e5 is coming, and, okay, well, bishop on h6 maybe is not so good, but, well, even if I put it here, the problem is that my two bishops, um, well, they don't work. Mm -hmm. If, uh, I think if you would take here, then I would be, well, instead Bishop of, five, exactly, I, I would be very happy, let's say, if uh, something like that. Well, or maybe even here it's not so good, but at least, well, actually here knight f4 is also possible. So this doesn't really work. So I think after f5 I'm just, I'm just, well, worse, and um, knight fd 2 as well is not a good move. And Have here I'm just... Instead of mm -hmm. instead of knight fd 2 yeah. Maybe. What about knight f4? Bishop G7. Oh, like this. Mm -hmm. And knight C3 pop. Mm -hmm. Knight was in D2, then C3. Yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah, is no, it's <laughs> true. It, it went like this because. <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay, I mean. Yeah, it's but it's that kind of position. It's a position where yeah, you, but have you can to lose tempo, so you yeah, can yeah, actually you, sometimes. Have to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Walk in circles. Maybe, yeah, yeah, you could be right. Bishop D3. Mm -hmm. But around here I already had little time, so um, I'm for sure. well, yeah, it wasn't so easy. Bishop d3 maybe was the right move. What about knight e5? Knight. Uh, okay, then f5 will be here. Knight e5. Mm-hmm. No, it's true. This is already... <laughs> No. But you didn't see this bishop d3? No, I somehow I thought bishop d3 knight f4 maybe was mm -hmm. unpleasant or something like mm -hmm. that. But it wasn't, um, yeah. It was pleasant. I think around here I, I completely lost track, basically. Yeah, I think after here it's just, well, just a pawn down and the position is not so good. But still, mm -hmm. I mean, white has some play, well, <laughs> yes, and yeah. you were trying to hold it. Yeah, I tried to fight back and I think, I don't know, strangely enough, well, yeah, it's just, well, it's time trouble play, but I think, well, here it somehow became actually quite easy for me to play. And, uh, well, it's true that, well, the point is that uh, Black's king is quite weak. So um, oh. as long as I keep um, heavy pieces on the board, my queen and at least one rook, I will always have some chances, I think, right? Because of, well, f5. And Jewel, what do you think about this position? I mean, it was not easy somehow to find uh, the winning plan or maybe you could have played differently yeah, in some moment. Maybe when on s5 is not, not so strong in the cover. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about this move before. But uh, uh, well, uh, I don't know how about this. I mean, the basic position. But after my pieces is uh, not 
good and I cannot I need to protect the pawns and it's mm -hmm. hard to develop. Oh. It probably wasn't so easy, maybe. Mm -hmm. well, at least in a practical game. And mm -hmm. later on, maybe some moment or later on, maybe here, I have chance to. Oh no, no, no. Oh, no. it's already not good. Yeah, for some reason even computer doesn't give too much to for black. So yeah, like white so has yeah. some contraplay. Mm -hmm. well, it's, it's not easy. Probably it's because of well, should be because of the of the weak king. king I yes. always have this. Well, the idea. So. Well, I mean, if the yeah. pawn was somewhere on a4, it would be quite different. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay. I mean, I d I want to ask a question not to connect it to the ah. game. Thank you for the c your comments and. Uh, Actually, both of you are playing uh, successfully in men tournaments as well. And you just uh, recently you finished the tournament in Dubai where you played very successfully. How is it to play with men and then with women? I mean, you prefer to play in women tournaments or in men tournaments? Okay. <laughs> and actually, okay, congratulations. It's, it's <laughs> a different. Uh, uh, it's different. I mean, different between men and uh, women type of power. For I think for more uh, men is uh, more strong and uh, I can learn more experience from them. And also women is uh, very good at uh, you know uh, some counterplay. So it's totally different. Yeah. And actually today the counterplay. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria was showing. And uh, what is your opinion? Well, I think um, lately, well. Generally, I think it's very different playing in the open tournament and in the closed, uh, like like here we play. Because here, basically, we don't have... Uh, well, we always have a decent, serious opponent mm -hmm. next day. doesn't matter how we play. doesn't matter if we lose or we win. So I think there is quite some difference between playing a uh, round-robin and open tournament. And while well, playing with men, of course, there are many more strong male players than female players so by definition it's more difficult to play against men but generally well the strength of the opponent is what counts not mm -hmm. not gender <laughs> yeah that's true and i remember emil sutovsky i think anna rublevsky was telling that uh, he was playing with from this tournament he was playing in kadani with you and anna muzichuk and he was one by one and he was so happy then to change for men players after ah, he made two draws <laughs> This and was suffering. European <laughs> champion. Yeah. yeah, European championship. Yeah. So he then he started to play very good against men. Just <laughs> no, but I think it's very clear if, well, at least I, but I think also maybe other girls, if we do well against a strong male player, we feel extremely proud. <laughs> <laughs> do you? I don't know. <laughs> do you feel something like this? I mean, when you win against 600 players, male Well, player. it doesn't happen. So <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen often. <laughs> I mean, do you feel that okay today I made it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> trying to remember ho all games. <laughs> no, it mm. must must have been a fantastic well tournament for you now in Dubai, right? This I was this was really good. It was lucky. <laughs> and you ha already have achieved two norms, right? Yeah. So um, the third one is waiting. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for your comments. Thank you.